Good morning everyone. Got a 21 Honda Civic here. Bunch of driver's assist lights on the dash. I do notice some front end damage right here. So definitely gonna be taking a look at that. But first I want to pull all the codes and see what's going on. Top Don has sent me a few products. One of them is a full functioning scan tool. It's not this. It's not this. It is this. This is the Top Don Top Scan. And this Bluetooth VCI looking doodad is actually a full functioning scan tool. Turns your smartphone into a scan tool. Let's see what's going on here. It should turn right on. Ignition on. Nice and big screen for you guys. Go into Top Scan. Go into Diagnostics. Right here you can see I have installed Honda, Hyundai, Kia, and Subaru. I haven't downloaded anything else yet. I don't really work on any other car. If I do, I'll just have to download it real quick. Really nice thing about having your phone as a scan tool is you have service. So you can connect to the internet, which gives you all sorts of benefits. So this top right corner here, click that car icon, select auto VIN. It's gonna automatically pull the VIN for us. There it is, so we'll hit confirm. As you can see, we are lit up like a Christmas tree over here. We will select USA. And there it is, 21 Civic. There's the VIN, USA, hit okay. All right, so we have diagnosis and hot functions. I'm gonna go into diagnosis. And right away, here's all of our systems right here. And what I'm gonna be looking for is Right here, integrated driver support system. Uh, there's also a multi-view camera system, blind spot, and so on. Um, like I said, this is a full system scan tool, so we'll go into driver support. I want to go into read codes. And right there, we have multi-purpose camera unit internal electronic failure. That's not a good code to have. And then we have millimeter wave radar local CAN malfunction. Two stored codes, or two pending codes rather. It just does do freeze frame with these codes. It's not gonna give us any freeze frame data. So if you click the magnifying glass icon, it will just directly take you to Google and look up that code for you. So that's really cool. What I'm gonna do, since this is already on my phone, normally I take my scanner, pull all the codes, and then use my phone and take pictures of the codes just so I can, you know, bring my phone over to my actual computer and look up the codes and whatnot. So in this case, I can just swipe across my phone, got a screenshot saved, and we can automatically clear DTCs. Press OK. So it looks like it was able to clear that time. We'll hit OK. Both codes are already back, so we can back out and go back in. And again, you can see both those codes. So let's do one auto scan here before I inspect the car. But I'm thinking that front end damage probably has something to do with it. The other nice thing about this, I don't know why I'm still sitting in the car. Let's just lift it up and take a look. So the all DTC scan is complete. We can either go into each system or select report right here and it should put all the codes together for us. Right here, shows all the systems, which ones have faults. And if you keep scrolling, it'll actually show you the codes for each one, so. Open or increase resistance in the driver's airbag first indicator, or inflator. I'll have to clear SRS codes, see what's going on with that. And then we have our integrated driver's assist codes here. That looks like it's it, so. Let's take a look right here and oh buddy oh boy yeah the subframe front bracket bent to hell what on earth got some uh, looks like gorilla glue holding the airbox resonator together that's cool some smashed wires in between. Eh, it looks okay. That corrugated tubing's gone. Splash shield is annihilated. And oh boy. 
So shocking, the compressor shaft seal is leaking. All this oil going up there is from the compressor end shaft seal. So good news for this guy is the compressor shaft seal is covered under warranty. The bad news is all of this is definitely not covered under warranty. We got actual body damage right here. So subframe could be shifted, bent. The front body is bent. So the body needs to be straightened out there. So that is not a good sign. Looking at the actual plastic bulkhead, you can see this bolt is just gone and no longer lines up. Same with that bolt. Somebody's definitely already looked at this. Obviously they glued some shit. Lord have mercy on my soul! We got self tappers in there or what, bud? What are you doing to me? Lord, Let's see here. Huh? Oh, no. Some movement going on there. So that's a no go right there. As far as the radar being correctly aligned. Those codes are saying communication issues. And since the codes did come back, I'll have to pull up those codes on the computer and do some diagnostics. We got some stuff figured out. Yes, we do. I removed the air box so I could get a closer look at the harness for the radar. Looking at the codes, I started with the B2 code is a multi-purpose camera unit internal electronic failure. The diag for this is super simple. Clear the code. If it comes back, replace the camera. Now, this diag tree can be misleading because the radar and the camera actually share a ground circuit. So if there's a ground circuit issue with the radar, it can throw this code and a lot of people will just throw a camera at it and it doesn't fix the problem. So. Whatever. Went to the other code, which is the U12B7. This one right here, millimeter wave radar, local can malfunction. This is gonna be the one that actually diagnosed, asked you to clear the codes. We did that with the top scan. Codes came right back, and then it basically had me check for continuity between the camera and the radar. Camera unit's up here. Just simply disconnected camera unit connector. Got to have the ignition off. Come over here. See I have the radar connector disconnected as well. From the wave radar number 4 pin to the camera number 12 pin. And then again on the radar 3 pin and the camera 6 pin. I got continuity on both of these. It wants you to check resistance or continuity between the radar and body ground at the pin four and pin three. That's what I have it plugged up to right now. We have body ground right here. We got, I believe we're in pin three right now and it's showing OL. Swap to the other pin. can see we also have OL which just means out of limits there's an open in this ground circuit this harness actually goes all the way up connects to the bulkhead goes to the fans goes to the hood latch switch goes to a ground on the body over there and so on I was inspecting for any damage or smushed part of the harness where I could see where the damage is and after pulling the airbox out and looking through it, I even connected my test long bore scope and shoved it down in here where the ground wires are and kind of down in between. This harness is really hard to see at some spots and I don't see any smashed components or smashed parts of the harness. So I'm suspecting it is the section that goes behind the bulkhead from the looks of this. It looks like the bulkhead's been replaced. We got a new condenser, missing bolts, new radiator here. Coolant reservoir hose is misrouted. 
some of this harness is misrouted. So we got one bolt holding this condenser on, I'm pretty sure. That's real nice. And anyway, I suspect there's damage to the harness right behind that bulkhead. And they might have just replaced the bulkhead and swapped over the harness without uh, fully inspecting the harness or seeing any damage. So this was replaced. This is a 2021, by the way. So I'm recommending front end harness as well as all three of these radar clips. You saw the top of this radar clip pops right out. Or not the clip, but the radar pops out of the clip. And I pushed it back in. The clip is secure to the bracket. That clip's just worn out from the collision. It's definitely gonna be an issue. So I recommend replace those and then we'll have to re-aim the radar. That's it. We're done with that. Make sure I pull this guy out. And there you have it. Top on, top scan. Would you look at that? Looks like we got approval to do the front end harness. So, 1300 bucks. They might be able to save 260 bucks, but we'll see. This is the Top Don Top Scan. Links in my bio.